Yo, what is up people, Von here, and welcome to another cloud project. Today, we're going to implement a password policy in the Okta environment. But before we get started, let's talk about what a password policy is. A password policy is a set of rules that help define how passwords should be created, used, and managed to ensure security. These rules help protect accounts and systems from unauthorized access by making passwords harder for attackers to guess or crack. Organizations must implement strong password policies for these reasons, but now that we know what a password policy is and its importance, let's hop into my screen to get this implementation going. All right, so we've made it into my dev environment, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna confirm if we have some users that we can attach this new password policy to. So let's go to directory and go to people, and we're going to attach that policy to everyone within the organization. So that being said, now we can go ahead and start the set of our new password policy. So go to security and go to authenticators. And then from there, we're going to go down to password and go to actions and edit. Now, as you can see now, we have a default policy that is in place right now. Now, once we add our new password policy, that policy will be priority one within this organization and this policy will be pretty much null and void and let's go ahead and add a new password policy we're going to give it a name we're going to say staff password policy and the description can be password policy for all users okay copy that and then of course for the group we're going to attach this policy to everyone in the organization so we're going to select the everyone group let's move to the authentication providers right now this password policy is applied to Okta which is good right but let's say we had Active Directory or LDAP integrated we can also use those tools as well but for now we're going to use Okta as our directory and leave these other directories as is so we'll select Okta all right so password settings this is where we get creative with our password policy so according to the nist 2024 password guidelines the minimum characters in a password is 15 so we're going to set ours to 15. all right so we're going to keep this checked this checked this checked we're going to also check symbol the symbols add a bit of complexity to your password now your password should be long and complex so i think that adding symbols to a password will definitely improve the strength of a password now what we don't want to do is we don't want users to contain their first name or their last name or their username so we're going to select these two as well and then of course we're going to restrict the use of common passwords now we've all been in users to some capacity so we know that users and users are lazy so we definitely want to restrict the use of common passwords and weak passwords now password age i'm not too concerned about that the minimum password age is two hours we can keep that set to that now as far as the password expiration um according to the nist 2024 password guidelines passwords don't technically need to expire anymore but if password or the account is compromised then you want to expire that password and reset that password so uh i'm still a little old school so i'm going to go ahead and just select 90 days just for this use case and you know that'll be that now prompt user five days before password expires. Yeah, we can send them a friendly reminder five days before that password expires. So now let's talk about lockout. Okay, so lockout user after 10 unsuccessful attempts. That is crazy. We're gonna cut that in half and make that five. So after five unsuccessful attempts, that user will be locked out. Account is automatically unlocked after 60 minutes. We will not be doing that. If the account is locked out after five, unsuccessful attempts that end user needs to contact their IT admin or help desk and this account should not automatically unlock itself after 60 minutes so we're not going to show lockout failures and we can send a lockout email to the user just in case the account is compromised and they'll have proof to say hey this isn't me logging in I'm at home here look at this email here and the IT admin can take a look at the email and we're going to create that policy now let's create that rule so we're going to name it staff password rule and we're not going to exclude any users we're going to keep the users ip set to anywhere now let's talk about self-service because this section <clears throat> is a gift and a curse so password change from account setting what that means is if the users logged into their account right and they go to their settings that means they've authenticated they know their password and i want to give them the ability to change their password so we're going to keep that check now let's talk about password reset i want to give them the ability to reset their password right 
but unlock their account? No, they're gonna have to contact the help desk or the IT admin to unlock their account. Let's talk about recovery authenticators. Now this is important. So users can initiate recovery with email. So we're gonna keep that as is. And then additional verification is any enrolled authenticators used MFA or SSO, we're gonna keep that selected as well. And we're gonna create this rule. And now our staff password policy takes priority within our organization. And let's go ahead and set up our enrollment policy. So we're gonna to go to enrollment and go to add policy and we're gonna name it staff enrollment policy. And we're gonna give it a description enrollment policy for all users and we're going to assign everyone to that all right and as far as the authenticators an email is going to be optional octa verify is going to be required password is going to remain required and the security question is going to be disabled we're going to create that policy and of course a rule comes behind that and we're going to call it staff enrollment rule and we're not going to exclude any users we're not going to change the I user ips um the enrollment is going to stay set to the default we're going to create that rule and now we have a new enrollment policy that takes priority within our organization and it is applied to all users now let's go ahead and test out this configuration now we're going to use cal and we're going to test out logging into his account to see if we can actually reset the password from inside of his account. All right, so we're able to log in with his default password. Cal's account was created before we implement this new password policy. So let's check to see if we can even reset Cal's password from his Okta dashboard. So we're gonna go to the top right and go to settings. And he has the ability to change his password. So let's see if it prompts for a 15 character password. Yes. Okay, let's insert his password again. All right, as you can see, this is our password policy that we just created. As you can see, it says at least 15 characters, lowercase, uppercase, a number, a symbol, no parts of your username, does not include your first name, does not include your last name. Password can't be the same as your last four password. Our new password policy Worked. It's prompting the user to create a 15 character password along with the other password requirements that we listed. That being said, let's go ahead and reset that password. Reset password. And there we have it. Cal's password has been changed. The new password policy takes effect on his account. And we've successfully set up a new password policy in Okta. I hope that you've gained some value from this video. If you have any questions or want me to confirm anything, definitely drop me a comment. And as always, be blessed.